us. Hmm. We'll, we'll try a different one in a moment. Anyway, so unknown. The final ban here for them will be... They're expecting... It looks like they're expecting the Marana support, which I think is likely. But they will ban out the Death Prophet, which would definitely transition to a very, very strong push on And it will give them a really good answer to Storm Spirit as well. Playing, with those, playing Storm into those silences is incredibly Five painful. Seconds. Right now, Secret, though... They could do with someone who could shut down Storm. Let's be real here. Storm exactly. against this lineup is going to be really hard to catch. And it will be a night nice stalker. There we go. We've seen the damage. If you were watching on the, the BTS2 channel earlier, early up, the damage that Virtus Pro Polar were putting out with Night Stalker, Illidan. Oh my god, the damage that Illidan was doing was magnificent in game one. And then game two, I think that they gave it over to Mag. It was insane. Absolutely insane. This hero, I, I'm going to say, is borderline broken. He is so powerful. And the silences against Timbersaw and Storm Spirit is well absolutely fantastic. Both these heroes are going to hate playing against Night Stalker. And Storm Spirit especially, he's just food. He is just... I mean, there's a lot of things they can do here. Like, the thing is, with that vision, like, that vision, the reduced vision is so painful during the, during the Darkness Ultimate. Like, they could very easily, like, slight chain someone. Like, have no idea that, that Ember is around. Just slight chain out of the Darkness. <laughs> you don't have to say you just walk right up and go, oh, look, slide, slide of fist and chains. There we go. It's pretty silly what you can do with it. Now, if Secret are lacking anything, it is pure team fight. but then again, Unknown don't exactly have a big team fight spells either. It's not like they're sitting on a Ravage with a Black Hole, Chronosphere, all those really powerful team 5-on-5 five five team fight spells, but they have real, both teams are pretty good in scrappy, drawn-out fights. But I think Secret, their lineup here, just because Storm has to... Storm and Timber, like, they're really going to struggle playing into this lineup. I, I'm quite worried. On the other hand, Storm is pretty good against Ember, as we saw. Early Orchid, Ember Spirit hates it, drives in Bananas. Don't know how they're going to go in the late game if Ember doesn't... It's going to it's gonna come down to how Ember gets farmed. I think right now, Secret definitely have the advantage. They have the advantage of, um... E.T.'s aura in the late game is incredibly powerful. Ember, of course towards the late game, if he's not playing as anything uh, significantly. Well, Night Stalker is going to remain relevant in the late game as well in this match, and it will be support Marana this match. Okay, I'm going to switch into your servers. This thing is crap in itself, so stay tuned, guys. I do apologize. We have to bring this down for a moment while I switch things over. Alright, hopefully this one behaves itself. The last one I had was not behaving at all. Alright, so if you're just joining us again, we'll go through the lineups here. So, playing for Secret on the Radiant side, we've got Puppy playing the Marana, Big Daddy no Tail on the other Titan, S4 playing the Night Stalker, Kurakai playing the Ember Spirit, Misery playing Nature's Prophet, and on the Dire Team, playing for basically, I don't know, we've got Mind Control on the Storm Spirit, Kefka playing the Timbersaw, Zoroji playing his Rubik Magoma on Ogre Magi, and Slavi. Slavi? Slavi? Playing the Viper. Yeah, there. All right, Magoma just going to trade some hits there with the, the transit doing some scouting. Oh boy, this Night Stalker. I swear to God, this hero is ridiculous. This patch, he's borderline broken. He's so so powerful. Although then again, maybe it's just Illidan. Illidan isn't. <laughs> maybe maybe it's Illidan who's broken from VPP. Zoroji being chased off there. Now the Rubik here does have some spells, I guess that could be useful to steal. Nothing, there's no really standout major ones. It's not like you steal, it's not, none of the really big easy steals. So you see, no tell though, gonna throw out the early stomp there. Arrow comes in on Magoma, great setup. Magoma walks up into it. Do they have the follow-up damage though? I think the mind control is gonna chase them off. They don't have the follow-up. Three heroes here, Puppy. Oh, it's a bit of a traffic jam there. No tell now copying on the stun. The fire blast comes in. Magoma says, hey, you know what? Let's fight. Let's take this on here. Now the last hit comes in. First blood going into mind control. They might lose the ogre anyway, but easy worth it there. Unknown. Arrow comes in, gonna hit Rubik. Now Rubik in trouble. Gonna get blocked in by the trans. Maybe this isn't gonna work out after all for unknown. And a double kill coming out. They're pinging out there. They think there's a ward up there. No, that no, there's no ward. You see the exchange. Big gold burst there. This is an interesting last pick though. Like S4, it's just gonna be a rough land for him. Like obviously melee heroes. He doesn't have 5 armor, but just the sheer amount of harass that you can put up with the Viper just all walking away to victory is very, very painful to deal with as a melee hero. Misery up here taking on the Storm Spirits. 
This one's actually going to be pretty annoying for Storm Spirit, except he's got backup. But on a one on one, it's very hard actually for the Storm Spirit to win this one, just because you can spam him in the face with trains. Just have him chase him around. He does not enjoy that at all. Yeah, and then we see S4. Actually, wow. The fact that S4 is ahead on CS here, I'm actually quite surprised. So doing very well. Uphill miss it, keeping him out of trouble. With the two supports, there's only so much misery can do, but they've still got Viper's gonna be careful, he doesn't trade too many hits there with Tonight. So if Nightstop gets in to start spamming him with Void, it could be an issue because of course at any time we could have an Ancient Prophet jump in behind him and just add those those right clicks. And with this Mirana missing as well, this is the best thing about playing support Mirana. Whenever she goes missing, you've got to be hyper like this. See the arrows come through, like you've got to be worried about it coming to kill you. Hotel though, just get out, grabbing his own farm there in the jungle. Kurokai and Kefka are going to be towing Toto. So this is a pretty rough one. If Notel is busy jungling a lot, this gets pretty rough for Kurokai. It's an awkward lane to play against. Melee heroes against Timbersaurus. At least he's not a strength hero, but at the same time, it's still pretty painful to play against. Now, I'm just going to try and trade some hits. Kefka, though, doing fairly well for himself at the moment. Now, got level 2 Flame Guy down. This could be trouble. Is he going to throw out the Stomp there? Kefka now jumping in the trees there. Stomp going to go through. Going to whiff, though. And he's looking... To see if he can get those last hits in there. Not going to happen though. Actually, he has to be really careful. Fortunately, no Whirling Death just yet. Otherwise, if he picked up a Whirling Death, that could have actually been a dead Ambus group there. Now, Kefka, he's popped the Sal. They're going to get away for the most part. I don't think Notel's going to put any more hits into him. As. Oh, Puppy goes for the snipe. Did it have anything on it? Yes, it did. I think it was just boots though. Arrow gonna come in here. Darby not paying attention. He knew that was behind him. Slavi now copying an arrow there. He's gonna be stunned up for the foreseeable future now. S4 now could be to be in here as well. Slavi in trouble. Run Slavi. I don't think he gets away from this one. No, no way. And there's an easy kill. They didn't really even need misery to turn up. I just how the hell did Slavi get hit by that act? They've got a ward there. Like, that's just inattention. Like. Unless she had an invis rune to start with. Yeah, Marana had the invisibility rune. Okay, so she gets the Corius Knight, fair enough. That's that's fair enough. But she Slavi should not have got hit by that arrow. That's just that's just lazy. And it was his boots on that. Not that boots on Viper really saved him because he is so freaking slow. Now, yeah, Potom's sitting on him. Like, this is like the worst thing to have. That's the, if you're roaming as Potom, the worst thing to happen is you spend like a minute sitting on a, sitting on top of a ward trying to get an arrow off. And then you like realize, hang on, he could probably see me. And you just wasted a full minute. You could have been leeching experience or something. So, yeah, Slavi really shouldn't have gotten hit by that. Meanwhile, the bottom line, Kefka. Sitting on 6 CS. She... Surprised he's not doing better. Considering the amount of time that Notal is spending out of the lane, I'm surprised he's not doing better than he is. I suppose he is having to deal with the Flame Garden Chains. This is actually quite powerful at this point in time. He doesn't have the Whirling Death to harass back. Meanwhile, Puppy coming back to the bottom lane. If he finds an arrow here on Kefka, I don't think he gets away from this one alive. Notal, though, giving things away, walking past a ward. I don't think he's going to scare Kefka away. Or maybe not. Kefka might be happy to come forwards here. Arrow going to come in, setting up with the chains. No, a bit of a miscommunication. A zip away there from Kefka. Arrow is going to whiff. I mean, more top lane. Misery sitting on 9 CS, doing, you know, what he can. And this lane is not easy for him. The supports have been sitting up here. They haven't rotated. Rubik's been moving around a little bit. Now it's night time. Night Stalker S4 hunting for Achilles. Walked right past a ward, though. This ward, Rubik actually paying attention to it. will back off. And then possibly walking. No, he is going to back off and get away. Night Stalker doesn't zip up there through the trees. Uh, Ogre, though, as Titan does find a kill on the bottom lane, they will finally get that kill down there. But S4 now looking for this kill. He should be able to find the guy, but there comes the first void. Is he going to throw out the stun just yet? Crippling Fear comes in, cancels the ability to stun. We're going to see a left telekinesis come in. No, change his mind. S4 backs off. He uh, probably couldn't have actually gone for that, I suppose. Storm Spirit is there. Not level 6, but he's got the level 2 Vortex. And between Lift and Vortex, they might have counter-killed him. A puppy spotted again, rotating here through the trees, and Slavi could actually go for a kill. Oh no, he's got Leap. They've pinged it out. I think they know he's in there. Throws down a ward. That's a very deep ward. Magoma's seen, and now he's going to move back there. They're waiting for Magoma to come in and open up with a stun. The puppy with his own ward is seeing this now, and he's going to loop around. I think they can see him still. No. Nope. Meanwhile, S4 rotating past the road. He's got to run here. He might go for the dive. He gets a crippling fear down. This will be trouble. This ward, though. 
Doing some work there for Zoroji. Saved him twice now. You can see him though, sitting there behind. It's a very aggressive ward from Puppy. Kurokai now going to find the bounty room. Going to pick that up there. Mind control. Being left to his own devices now. And this top lane should be okay for a while until S4 decides he wants to kill him. And this one he might not see coming here. As I, oh, wait, no. This ward spotted his movement, I think, towards the top rune. So, Mind Control should probably be wary of this. And S4 going to jump out. Oh, he's going to walk right into him here. Mind Control in trouble. Getting a crippling. Oh, no, doesn't get the crippling. Fear Dan time. Just zips the full distance. It's screw it. I'm out. Does... Holy cow. Does cop a wrath, though. And H's wrath comes through. Does a ton of damage. Almost picks him off there. Less than 100 health in the end. Dyer's top tower is under attack. An easy tower gonna come out here for secret. I should be able to bring this down pretty easily. I see the chat is already complaining about Kurokai, being pronounced Kurokai. I'll put it up on Twitter later, Triumph Man on Twitter. Well, at Triumph Man on Twitter. It is in fact pronounced Kurokai. Everybody, a lot of people pronounce it differently, but... Uh, <laughs> posted himself in an I and read it excuse me so I choke on my tongue there Kurokai posted himself in his Reddit AMA back when he was on Team Zero that it is in fact pronounced Kurokai so before you keep spamming chat about that there's some learning meanwhile we have Timbersaw chain away triple remnant coming there's the burst comes in throws down the world throws down the chakram chases Ember Spirit away. He might actually on oh, one more attack from the tower and he would have been dead. Meanwhile, we're going to have a fight break out by the top of, by the top of the jungle here. Puppy now taking some hits here. Lift it up. Should be enough damage for Mind Control to finish him off. But the stomp comes in, but it's not enough. And now we've got Viper Strike down on S4. S4 being chased by Super Speedy at night, though. Should be okay. Throws down the void there on Mind Control. There's not enough of a zip distance to chase. Doesn't matter, though. The poison attack from Viper gets the last hit. Viper. It's uh, a lot of gold there. Two deaths. Both supports, but still good gold there. To unknown and basically basically if they can keep ahead of this snowball lineup they're gonna be in an okay shape but towards the late game Viper's only so so in the late game is issue storm is very good and I feel like between the Ember Spirit and the Night Stalker he's going to struggle a little bit in the late game by himself I suppose Viper does have the additional benefit of having a huge steroid on his side though in the form of the bloodlust but he is playing against ET's aura, which is like as good as a steroid in the as a steroid in the late game. It's amazing. Absolutely insane to play against. Misery. Oh, he's going Orchid first. Which, yeah, against the storm. I can definitely see that. As actually that's the other one I discounted as well. The fact is, Nature's Prophet gets so much farm that in the late game he's almost always relevant. He gets so much farm and he can quite easily buy up those counter items to Storm Spirit. Puppy in the bottom, I'm just going to grab some of his own farm. I heard a Void go off in the mid lane. No, I think it was just S4 farming with it. And Goma, hmm. He's looking for... He's, I think he's just going to do Arcane Boots first at the point. Um, Ogre, unfortunately, has severe mana issues. So, yeah, he's got enough for three spells and he's out. So, probably going to go for those Arcane Boots in a moment. Storm Spirit, well on his way towards that Orchid as well. Zip in, going to look for this guy. It's a very long range zip, though. I think they got to back off and the zip's out immediately. That's <laughs> a very, very long range zip. Very hopeful too. Now Kurokai, no tail. Gonna swing for the backside here. Kefka, he drove, he drove him off last time. Can he get them this time? Stomp gonna come trying to storm. Arrows coming in, dodge the arrow. Sleep comes down there. The stomp lands, but I think Kefka gets away. TP support is here as well. Timbersaur is doing a really good job of dodging all these ganks. Arrows just not quite landing. And Puppy doing a 1-2-2 two, two there, second level leap, help out his early mobility. The level 2 arrow is really cost effective in terms of damage as well. It's 280 damage at level 2 when you land a max arrow, and that's essentially the same. That's essentially the same as a level 4 spell. Then when you hit that early at level 3, it's really a huge burst of damage. Now he's swinging around the backside, in comes Chimber Spirit, jumps in, catching two of the chains, easy double kill there, stomp to follow up. Night Stalker will take out the Viper, and it looks like Kurokai will take out Zoroji there, cleaning up that kill. Alright now. I'm not sure how teams are going to adapt to play against the Night Stalker, it's just really aggressive. 
Really highly aggressive ganking firepower that these things are putting out this. Oh, Puppy just gets away there, but he's going to walk into Embassy. Oh, <laughs> he's going to get blown up there. Walks into the Timbersaw. He's running the safety of his teammates. Unfortunately, there's a Timbersaw waiting for him. Minecraft ran at him out of there. Couldn't quite pursue him. Now 4k gold lead though, this amount of pressure they're putting down is due, I think this is going to be the issue for Unknown towards the late game. It's the amount of pressure that is being placed right now, it's going to be so hard to do it. In comes the sun, stomp is not even needed. Stomp was not necessary though, the damage of the S4 was just way too much. Now Kefka being chased away there, arrow going to go through, isn't going to strike though. Meanwhile I heard a multicast, is ignite going off there, catching two. Is anybody pursuing? No. They're just going to let that one go, unfortunately that invis rune. I think we're going to find that the farm description is going to come out because Unknown are going to have struggle to find room to farm because like with this top tier 1 down, possibly the tier 2 going to go if they keep pushing mid, they're going to really have trouble getting around the map and not getting picked off. No, this nice and it looks like he's going for a Maelstrom. Okay, this differs from Illidan's build. Illidan went for really early urn and those sort of really early base guidance, BKB, that sort of stuff. Looks like in this case, he's going for some raw damage. Which I suppose in this case, I mean, this still could do with the BKB. There's a lot of magic damage, but maybe if he can avoid getting it early, that'll really help him out towards the late game. The longer he can afford to delay the BKB, it just means the longer he gets to keep those high level charges up. Uh, misery. See where he's going with this? You see the walking out the <laughs> just gets jumped there. Oh man. Zoroji getting picked off, meanwhile. Allies. He's blown up by everything. Mirana gonna pop the Moonlight Shadow. It looks like they're gonna go for a kill on the bottom lane, potentially. In comes the Sansa on Kefka. Kefka possibly in trouble here. No fault. Oh, no, never mind. He's gonna jump forwards. I'm not gonna jump forwards. Zoroji actually gonna pour it in there. S4's moving in. Throws down the Sansa. Zoroji just back in the fight. Can he blown up again? Second time in a row. He will get taken out. Arrow gonna come through. Unnecessary. Kefka too low to continue pushing in there on S4. S4 though, gonna get jumped by Storm Spirit, gonna drag him back in the electric board. Can he get this kill? Silenced up by the Orchid there as well. It looks like he's gonna get blown up as well. Soulburn kicks in. It looks like Kefka just gonna. It's nothing Kefka can do here. He's too low. He has to back off. And Misery, this Nature's Prophet is going to be a big threat for Unknown in the late game, actually. Just the amount of farm he's getting, and the fact he's building these items that just really shut down Unknown's lineup. No tell now. Oh, zip back from Kurokai. And support Murana going for the Arcane Boots. I can see that definitely be useful. They did do some mana rebalancing there on Night Switch to help him out with his mana issues, but... He still is pretty dependent on that, and he's gone for the Maelstrom for some raw damage. He's going to have a fair bit, and at night as well, with the 100 night, he's going to have a lot of attack speed too, so lots and lots of procs hopefully for him. Right now, six kills ahead, several towers ahead. They're building around about 7.5k gold lead. And unknown, they just... They've got heroes who can fight. The issue is... I just don't know if they fight as well. It's just this is not. They need to get some objectives done during the daytime. They're just not managing to do that at this point in time. The pressure being applied from Secret is so damn strong at this point in time. Ember Spirit has gone for the. Uh, has gone for drums first. See if he decides to pick anything else up. I assume he's just going to go and grab the Battle Fury next, would be my assumption. Although, playing against a Storm with an early Orchid, he might opt. If Storm picks his Orchid, Storm has actually slowed down quite a bit now, though. But if Storm gets this Orchid within the near future, he might actually opt for a Manta Style. It's actually quite good against Silence Bearing Heroes. And for the moment, Unknown will manage to hold off on this push in the Tier 2 bottom, but... Secret just rotate and push the mid-tier 1. As long as they're getting these towers down during the night time, they're actually setting themselves up for a fantastic mid-game, and Unknown are really going to struggle to deal with them in a few minutes. And they're already struggling, to be real. So here, Dangerous Prophet porting. Misery's going some... No, not to go for it. They were scouting the Astral Spirit, who was going to port in with it, then changes his mind. Meanwhile, scouting top here, looking for a pickoff. Shh, no, I don't think they find this one. Mine control should be able to get away. And yeah, he's just going to go. Oh, Arrow is such a good right spot. Just a little bit too slow. Meanwhile, though, Viper has been caught out. Going to try and TP away, but in comes Ember. Can he get there in time? He will do so. A mega kill now for Misery. Comes through with the Nature's Wrath. Meanwhile, tier 2 and mid taking a heavy beating. Oh no, Zoroji's gonna walk in and walks in the Astral Spirit. S4, free kill karma. He's got vision over the top there. Throws out the slow. In comes the stomp. Ember Spirit gonna take the last hit. Now Magoma is surrounded by four. He's not getting away from this one. 
And actually, they're going to keep going. Kefka now pushed back by the tree. Zip in there from Storm Spirit. Zip back out. He's going to try and pick off Misery. No, he's going to back off there. Down goes the Timbersaw. And now Mind Control is falling low. Mary's in a lot of trouble. His zips to the low ground. It says 4 in pursuit. Goes in there. Throws down the silence. Misery should be fine. In comes the slow. The silence is still there. Arrow comes through completely unneeded. A triple kill for Kurokai's Ember Spirit. And probably a tier 2 as well. And yeah, as we can see, a 2.4k swing there. It's bringing the net worth there. Ouch. 9k. The misery for an off lane. Nature's profit. That is really, really good. As the arrow comes through, stomp an arrow comboed up there. Ah, oh, Slavi now in trouble. In comes the double chain. Zip forward for Kurika. He's going to chase down Slavi as well. One more chop there. Starfall as well. Going to burn him down with the flame guard. And a triple kill for Kurikai. Four heroes down at the moment. We're just having Storm respawn in a second. That is a very aggressive TP coming out of Storm Spirit. Arrow comes through, TP's on an arrow, Sars down and Storm Spirit <laughs> he just lands that one. <laughs> Easy as you please. I think that was a bit of a hopeful TP gank there from Storm Spirit. That was... Yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. Puppy just punishing him there. 970 gold there for Ember Spirit. And Battle Fury is on the way. So yeah, you're up 16 minutes in, 70 minutes in. You almost got a 10,000 net worth nature's profit. It's pretty solid, you would say. And we've got the Blink Dagger picked up here, so... I'm just going to add to that mobility. It also just gives him the option just to chase... Just initiate on the Storm. I really like that itemization there from Misery. Misery, these items have really helped deal with comp issues... With basically draft issues. Be catching Storm. Although, obviously, Night Stalk is still really good. But he has a somewhat of a short range there. I think Storm Spirit right now, he really, like, this is the issue. He wants that Orchid up and running. So can, if he got the Orchid up and running, he could potentially go for solo kills on Misery. Just pick him off like that. Or even just any of the supports. But right now, he's just struggling to get that farm finished up. And it's getting to the stage of the game where he really wants to be well on his way to his BKB. Because he's going to need one at some point against this lineup. So right now, the momentum for the Unknown is just not there. They've just been completely shut down. S4 going to get dived on there. Electric Force is dragging, but Sars comes out on Mind Control. He gets blown up there by Wrath of Nature. Will also, S4 taking a lot of damage. Should be able to get clear. Big Daddy, though, getting beaten up by Roshan. Night Shadow will actually keep him alive for the moment. Gets Roshan off him. Slavi now being chased down, but they will lose S4. Arrow going to go th through. No, never mind. He's already gone. Already jumped up the high ground there, Kefka. But still an awkward end there for... I know, they came in, they tried to fight, jumped S4, got the kill in the end, but... The amount of retribution dealt out to them was <laughs> too much to handle. 400 gold, and I've got to say though... The Moonlight Shadow there from Puppy, keeping No Tile alive, he was getting the crap beaten out of him by Roshan. But he couldn't come out of the pit, because on like 100 health, he'd just get nuked down immediately. See TP. Uh, S4 is on his way back there. I don't think they're going to be too late. Timbersaw might try and stop the rush. Or might try and sneak it in there. I don't think he's in mad. No, he's just putting some pushing. He's not going to be able to get in there. Meanwhile, they'll give it to Ember Spirit. Be the best option for that. Or maybe uh, Ember can sort of. He can die back into the fight essentially. But I was going to say S4. Maybe S4 doesn't appear to have room. Because S4 is most likely to get picked up. Because he's going to be going in first. So he's going to be copying a lot of damage there from Unknown. A jump ult. I say that, and then Kurokai does this. Just jumps and blows up Soroji because he can. Arrow coming through. Wax the Ogre. Mogoma taking some heavy hits there. Down goes Kurokai. We'll be back up in three seconds here. They pick off both supports. And they could well go for this Rax now. They could go high ground if they want to. S4, it's night time. He's popped the Darkness Ultimate. Going to push in there as well. No, just going to play objectives here. He's done hitting that tower. Throw down the Spirit there just to zone out. Kepka going to put him to sleep as well. Arrow going to come through. Unnecessary. They will blow him up with the nukes. <laughs> no, no magic resistance. Void hits so hard with the Astral Spirit. Whoa, man. That is so hard to deal with. And a blink shell. No swift chains. They're coming out there. Slider Fist jumps in there on top of Slavi. Slavi, though, hit by the uh, hit by the stomp as well as Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit goes down. A buyback there. From, <laughs> God, a buyback from Timbersaw. Timbersaw's almost died again. Almost dies back. Misery now moves in, throws down the sprout there. Char I think Slavi chains as well. Are they going to try and finish him? No, Mech comes out. We'll keep him up there. Pops his own Mech. Here's Timber Sword chaining away there. Oh, Moonlight Shadow Arrow going to come in here. Will it hit Slavi? Oh no, Slavi's going to die. Puppy with the arrows, just sniping out targets. They're pinging the Melorak saying, hey, we should get rid of this. Although it's S4 going to work on the, on the range one for the moment. Before they switch targets. And a buyback there. At least Timber didn't die a second time around. Did you see that 2.5k swing? 
back. He's picked up his Battle Fury now as well. Gonna sit inside that shack. Oh, painful. Sars comes out there on Kafka Arrow coming through. It doesn't do to hit anybody. They will bounce off a creep now. Minecraft Sars up though by the Crippling Fear. Goes down to Star Storm. And now it looks like they're gonna zip for Kurokai zipping away. The buyback is he gonna go for a dieback? Zips after Kurokai. Can he get this kill? Stomp coming. He's out of mana. Gets put to sleep. The attacks are gonna come in. Here comes the side of fist. No! No, he gets away. Zips out just in time. I thought he went down to the whirling death. Kefka! Doesn't quite get him. Kurokai zips away. They're just on the high ground. Meanwhile, Mind Control still alive. He's gonna get cleaned up there. Kurokai can he get away? Slow down with the overload. One more hit. A TP gang coming in. Slabby. No, he goes the wrong way. Storm Spirit gets taken out again. Oh, Slavi jumps forward. There's the chains. Will he actually burn out? No. Corrosion skin not going to be enough there. Slavi turns around. Viper Strike comes down to Misery. Misery, though, just going to auto attack his way to victory. Two, three, maybe four. Pops the mech. No, maybe he's going to win this one. In come the chains. The chains burning out the Viper. And Kuroki actually going to tick out to the bedroom. He needs to actually bounce here. No, no, he's okay. Never mind. Corrosion skin not enough to kill him. And for all that, they lose a range racks in a tier three. But as we. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, Zeroji, he's been the whipping boy for quite a while. It's unfortunate it went to him. He picks up 2.2 thousand gold. It is hopefully a blink dagger for him, but yeah, that's a pretty big comeback swing for what it's worth. It merely makes the gold deficit from 20,000 to 15,000. Nothing, nothing at all for unknown to worry about. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway. Man, I'm just wondering what it'd be if Kirk had died. It would have been huge. That's a beyond godlike streak at this point in time. That they could have nicked off him. I heard the stomp go out. Doesn't appear to have hit. Oh no, it's on Magoma. There we go. Magoma's dead. Yeah. Gets caught out there on the low ground. Right now, they've just got absolutely no vision. S4 just charging around the enemy base because he can. S4 now getting hit by the Viper Strike. The Stomp coming down. Chainsmall gonna put Slavi to sleep there. Moonlight Shadow pop. In comes the Earth Splitter. And that will fix. Oh wow. They lose the Roji as well. Gets cleaned up with the Astral Spirit on the wrong side there. Kefka now possibly in trouble. Are they gonna give chase? Orc it up. Tossed up in the air by the, uh, by the Cyclone. And he get pushed back as well. Trapped in by the trees. They're coming for him. <gasps> Blocked off by the trees. Can't walk away. I don't think he was getting away regardless. It's night time and S4 could just run him in the dirt. More trains popped. In comes the sweep out of secret. They're just going to go push this one down super quick. Another 3.2k swing in their favor. Just repairing that deficit that they lost. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. And uh, chains come up Magoma. This should be a pretty easy pick off. Stomp comes out again. Remnant's coming through there. Down goes Magoma. And also get Kefka as well. Storm Spirit tossed in the air by the Cyclone. Gonna zip away there. Chains come out again. Zoroji. His stolen flame guard for the auto attacks is roaring. Same for Magoma. Getting blown up there by auto attacks for misery. And they should. They clean up the tier 3 now. Looks like Secret are just gonna finish off the racks as well. Meanwhile, <laughs> Kirk is just jumping around wherever the hell he wants to go. Slow comes in with the Viper Strike. Arrow comes through. Puppy sniping Zoroji. A misery now attacking uphill. The Sans comes down on Slavi. Slavi. Urn burn, uh, urn burn as well as the Soul Burn. He's going to get rid of him. He will get cleaned up there. GG is called. Secret with a hyper aggression. I've got to say, this Storm. Night Stalker. He's back, boys. This hero. This hero is insane. But good keep in mind, though. Kurokai was all over the show, but yeah, the early aggression that these heroes put out is so, so freaking strong. And that's just it. Secret, they picked a very gank-oriented line. They picked the heroes they itemized to shut down the Storm Spirit. Storm Spirit, his mid-game is very strong. But playing into the Crippling Fear is difficult, and then they brought out the Orchid, and it was just nothing he could do about it. Just couldn't get his own Orchid up, as we can see there. Oh boy. Anyway, so, that was our next match for Starlight Season 11. We'll be back in just a... Uh...